Hi, it's Barton Jennings here from Lung and Sleep. I've got an interesting case here for you of a patient with a cavitating lesion in the right lower lobe. I've actually shown this CT on a previous video, but I'll just go through it again. That previous video was entitled Case of a Cavitating Lesion in the Right Lower Lobe. So you might have watched that already or could look at that. But here's the CT scan, the axial films. And we're just coming into the right lower lobe here. Here's the apical segment takeoff. Just come down. These are the basal segments. This is the posterior basal segment of the right lower lobe there, or the RB10. Follow that RB10 down, and here we're starting to come into the abnormality. Here's the cavity with a quite a thick wall, and this posterior basal segment, or RB10, comes into the wall of the lesion. And what we want to do is we want to biopsy the wall of this lesion because this lesion certainly looks concerning for a lung cancer. It's got a spiculated margin to it and it's thick walled. It's not fluid filled. It could be inflammatory, it could be infection, it could be tuberculosis, but we need to biopsy it because it could well be a cancer. Now, when I do these procedures with radiolibus, I also like to look at the coronal films because that will give me an idea as to where to find the lesion on the x-ray or the image intensifier. Here's the coronal film. I'll just scroll through. Here's the right lower lobe and here's this cavitating lesion there. If we just scroll through it, we get an idea as to where it is in relation to the vertebral column and also to the diaphragm. And we've got a quite a nice image there. We can see this airway that just travels straight down into the wall of the lesion. So that will be useful when we do the bronchoscopy, which I'll show you now. So here's the bronchoscopy procedure. We're just at the main carina, looking down the right. We have the right middle lobe on the left there. It's the right lower lobe, the apical segment, medial segment. We'll go down to the basal segments. So you can see three of them there anterior, lateral and posterior down the bottom. So it's the posterior segment which I think that this lesion will be in based on the CT. Now here it is again. We'll get the radial e-bus image up and bring that up to the main screen. And there's the radial probe within the guide sheet which has the metal tip. We'll bring the guide sheet back and go to our segment and advance the ultrasound. Initially I'm going to advance it into the segment 9 just to show you what normal lung looks like. That you can see normal lung. As I come back, I'll advance into segment 10, and there you can see that's abnormal. It's heterogeneous, it's solid. There you can see that's within solid parenchyma, and that's certainly within the right part of the, of the lesion. That's within the wall because it's solid. So now I've localized where it is, I advance the guide sheath into place so that I can guide my biopsies. This is the image intensifier. You can see the bronchoscope and you can see the brush coming through the guide sheath. And it's just brushing into the lesion. I know it's into the lesion because I saw it on the ultrasound and placed the guide sheath. Here's the biopsy forceps going through the guide sheath. Open, advance on a little bit and close and take a biopsy and that will diagnose that lesion. Here's another biopsy. I usually perform about 10 of these biopsies just to get enough tissue for all the ancillary testing required and to confirm the diagnosis. So now the biopsies have been taken through the radial bus, they get sent to pathology and I've got the pathology here to show you that the conclusion is that the right lower lobe transbronchial biopsies showed adenocarcinoma with mucinous features and you can see the immunohistochemistry has been performed, the pd one testing has been performed to help guide therapy. Now, unfortunately, that's a bad result for the patient. However, it's important that we've confirmed that there is a lung cancer there. We've identified what type of lung cancer. So the next step is to perform staging investigations to determine whether there's been spread, and that will determine the treatment. And hopefully it will be contained within the lung, so curative treatment will be able to be offered for the patient. So I hope you found that informative and an interesting case.